So welcome to another video. We're in Dumfries and Galloway on holiday. This is the start of our fortnight's holiday, summer holiday. And we've been in Dumfries and Galloway for three days. This is our third day. And the weather today is pretty good. So we're going to climb the mighty Merrick. And down behind the camera is Loch Trull. And we're just going to go down and have a wee look at Bruce's Stone, which I've actually never been to. I've walked through Glen Trull when I did the Southern Upland Way in 1992. And I don't think I've been back since. Um, but it's a lovely area. Um, I'm actually not sure which hill is the Merrick. It's the highest in Scotland, south of Ben Lomond. And it's the Corbett. And it's over 800 metres. But I'm not quite sure where it is. <laughs> It might be up the back there. Um, I've got the route downloaded on my phone, um, so I have no doubt I'll get there. But uh, I'm just going to go down and have a wee look at Bruce's Stone and get going. And it's quite late. It is 5 to 12. So we're staying at Garleston Caravan and Motorhome Club site. We stayed there last night and we're staying there tonight. So it's a nice wee site um, right on the Solway. And yeah, hopefully we'll have a good day. I've got lunch packed, um, got plenty of water, so hopefully it'll be a good day. And we shall bring you back once I get down at the stone. I think there's some people down there. I was hoping they would go away. <laughs> so I think it's just down there. of Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, whose victory in this glen over an English force in March 1307 opened the campaign of independence, which he brought to a decisive close at Bannockburn on 24th of June 1314. The Merrick, four miles. This is meant to be a bothy, but <coughs> it certainly looks a bit run down. Yeah. What does it say? Oh, yeah. I don't fancy sleeping in here. It's got a really good roof, which is a shame. No glass in the windows. Yeah. Oops, oops. That was a swifter swallow. Okay. <clears throat> so we've just left the bothy behind, if you can call it a bothy. And we're making our way up through the woods. But I've discovered both my poles are completely seized. I tried to get them out when I stopped at the waterfalls, but can't shift them. Last time I used them was on the last day of the Southern Upland Way, where um, it was really, really wet. But I was just coming up there thinking, what would you do if you're a trekking pole tent and you relied on your poles? Because there's no way I can extend the main part of the pole. Not sure what you would do. Right, we'll keep going. Weather's lovely. I'm not sure how I got on with no poles, but we'll see.
crossing the line. Mountain zone ahead, forest zone behind. How cool is that? Right, I'm in the mountain zone. <sighs> can just see the bothy down there in the trees. Oh, it's warm. Oh dear, I think I'll be stop for lunch soon. It is 10 past one and I'm hungry. <sighs> so I'll keep going to the sea for get a, a nice bit for lunch. Oh. oh, I think trail shoes were the wrong choice. It's been quite wet and boggy. Oh, look at that. Oh. So the path heads through that gate, straight up there and then up the ridge. There's a couple in front of me and I saw them on the horizon going up the ridge. I've still not found anywhere for lunch, so I'm actually just going to sit here right on the path. Uh, I don't really want to sit anywhere near heather or grass in case I get ticks. Um, but the views are really opening up. Um, I don't know what these hills are, I'm not familiar. I know there's a lot of cower bits around here. Um, but these look like big hills. And right out there, I think that might be Loch Dee, but I'm not sure. A way out there. Um, yeah, really nice. And obviously, I don't think we can see the summit of the Merrick yet. <laughs> so, we'll get some lunch. Hi, hi. Good girl. So there's some people coming up behind me. You can probably see them. They caught up with me when I was having lunch. Oh, yeah, I'll get the views though. Amazing. Pretty sure these people are going to pass me. But yeah, I'm going. Oh. Not the summit, unfortunately, but a big cairn. Wow, look at the views. Oh. Lovely. So, that is the Merrick up there. Oh, I've got a bit of descent. <laughs> oh, that lovely, I'll do a wee panorama. So we've got all the way down there to go and up. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the GoPro, but way out there is Ailsa Craig. I don't know where I'm pointing. Yeah, you can just see it. I've got this nice ridge to go down. And then the final climb. And obviously back up here again. Yeah. I 
don't think the GoPro does it justice. So we're just about at the low point, or the Bialach now. And this route I'm taking is just a up and down the same way. But I bought a wee book. I think it's a Walk Highlands or Pocket Mountains book on walks in Dumfries and Galloway. And I noticed in that book, there's a circular route which takes a bit longer. I think it's six hours instead of four to five hours. And it actually comes off the Merrick the other way and it comes down to Loch Enoch, I think one of these lochs is. So I think the path will be pretty rough and um, I'm not going to do that today but uh, it might be quite an interesting route. Another wee cairn, but not the summit. I can just see the summit ahead. <sighs> oh. <sighs> but we've got all that way to go back up to there. Not looking forward to that. But it's actually quite a, a nice uh, ascent this. Not too steep. It's fine. It's a wee bit chilly. I think when I get to the summit, I'm going to have to put my jacket on and maybe my gloves and hat. Yeah, for June, it's really cool. I think uh, the temperature in the van was showing like 13 degrees, which for mid-June is pretty cool. But quite good for walking. Do you know, I'd be moaning if it was too hot as well. Never really happy. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Slumber of the Merrick. So that's us at the summit of the Merrick. You can see the trick point and summit cairn behind me. Um, yeah, the views are a bit hazy. I think the best of the weather's probably gone now. So we're just going to get a wee snack here and then head down the same way. I had a nice chat to a man from France, from Bordeaux in France, on the way up. Um, so that was good, but uh, we've still got a bit of a scent. <laughs> got to drop down to the Bialach again and then back up. But uh, yeah, it's been a nice walk actually. It's a wee bit chilly now, but we're going to get a snack um, and then, yeah, head down. Cool.
she's not brave enough to go in. You're a fair day. What a lovely place for a wild swim. Very tempting. So I'll probably finish up the video here. That's us almost back down at Loch Trill. We can actually see Loch Trill. My left ankle's a bit sore and that path, it's a bit of a nightmare really, um, all the way up to where we had uh, lunch just before the sheep gate. Yeah, it's boggy, lots of boulders, slippy, and I'm missing my walking poles, so yeah, my ankle's a bit sore. So I'm just heading back to the van. I think I'll be there in the next five or 10 minutes, hopefully. Um, I might have another wee look at Bruce's Stone. I've had a good day doing the Merrick and the sun's come out, it's lovely again. So I'll finish up the video here and we'll see you in the next one. So thanks so much for watching.